Hello, this is Jared from LearnToDroid.com. Today we'll be using the navigation architecture component from the Jetpack library in Android to be able to navigate between uh, different fragments within an activity in your Android app. Uh, I'll show you the full process to how to set this up in Android, so let's jump right into it then. Um, I'm sharing a post uh, on LearnToDroid.com that I wrote. Uh, the link is in the description. It's got all the steps in this tutorial in detail, so if you want to follow along, check out that post. So the first thing we'll do is we'll create an Android project in Android Studio. We use an empty activity. So we'll create a new project. I'll give it the name of Navigation Tutorial. And we'll hit finish. So what we'll need to do first is we'll need to get the navigation architecture component dependency so we can load that into our Android project using Gradle. So just follow the link in my blog post to the navigation section of the developer.android.com guide. Go into the getting started section and get the latest dependency. Now update your Gradle file with this dependency. Then sync now. Okay, now you'll now you'll have the navigation architecture component dependency added to your Android project. Next, what you want to do is be able to create a navigation graph resource. So go into the resource directory, right-click on it, select new Android resource file. For the resource type, set it to navigation in the file name, give it a file name of navgraph. and you'll see a blank navgraph get created. It currently has no destinations in that navgraph. Next, what we'll do is add a nav host fragment to the activity layout. So we'll copy this fragment from the post and navigate into your Android app and go into the layout section of your main activity. Uh, go into the split mode and overwrite the text view with this fragment. We need to correct the nav graph to set it to the nav graph you've created. So next what we'll do is we'll create some fragments in our application and we'll, then we'll add those fragments to the navigation graph as destinations. Before we create those fragments in Android Studio, what we'll do first is create the fragment layout resource files. So we'll start with uh, fragment uh, number one, create a new layout resource file. Fragment, fragment one, we'll give it the name and we'll use a linear layout. So for fragment one, we'll have a text view saying that it's fragment one. And we'll also have a button in there as well. So we'll give the text view a text of fragment one and then we'll add a button, which will be used for navigating to fragment number two. So we'll give the text of the button to say go to fragment two and we'll need an ID for this button. Fragment, fragment one, um, navigate to fragment two. Okay, next we'll create uh, the fragment layout resource file for fragment number two. Give it the name of fragment two. We'll use a linear layout again. So this time we'll use a text view with the text of fragment number two. So we'll copy this over and change that to fragment two. Now we'll create the fragment class for fragment number one. New Java class, give it the name fragment one. It needs to extend fragment and we'll override two methods on create and on create view. Okay, in the on create view method, we'll replace this information, create a new view. We'll use the inflator, Inf 
inflate, get the layout, the container, and then false, and we'll return this view. Okay, now we'll set up the button in this fragment class. We'll create a new attribute for the button. I'll call it navigate to fragment to button. And then we'll set up this button. We'll set up the button. Find view ID and find the button. Okay, we'll add a listener to the button later uh, when we've added the fragments to the navigation graph. We haven't done that yet. So we'll first create uh, fragment two before we do that. So let's do that now. New Java class, fragment two. And this will also extend fragment. And we'll override those two methods again. Uncreate and uncreate view. And we'll set up the uncreate view method. Later.inflate. Uh, we'll get the layouts for fragment two. Container and pass false. And then we'll just return this view. Okay, next what we'll do is we'll go into the navigation graph and add some destinations. So double click on the navigation graph and select the plus button. First we'll add fragment number one. This will be the initial fragment that's get, that gets loaded in the navigation graph. And then we'll add another destination called fragment number two. And to be able to navigate between these fragments, you need to create an action between these two destinations. To do that, uh, click on the uh, circle on fragment number one and drag that over to fragment number two. This will create an action. Uh, this action has an ID of action fragment one to fragment two, and we'll be using that in the nav controller to navigate between these fragments. So if you run this in, in the emulator, you'll see fragment one load. Uh, this is because fragment one is the start destination in the navigation graph. Now this button won't work yet to go to fragment two. We need to modify the fragment one class to use the nav controller to move to nav fragment number two using this action we just created. So now what we'll do is we'll uh, use the navigation controller inside the fragment one class to navigate to fragment number two. So let's jump into the fragment one class and add a listener to the button. Set on click listener, new on click listener. So we'll need to locate the navigation controller and then navigate to fragment two using the action we created. To do this, we'll need to call navigation dot find nav controller, passing the view. Then we'll uh, call the navigate method and then we'll call the action that we created before. So r dot id uh, action fragment one to fragment two. Okay, uh, that's all the code required. So now we'll run this in the emulator again. Okay, and if you select the go to fragment two button, it will take you to fragment number two. And if you click the back button, it will take you back to fragment number one. So there you have it. This is a very basic tutorial on using the navigation architecture component from Android. Uh, if you enjoyed this tutorial, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more tutorials around Android app development. Thanks for watching.